in this video we are doing number five from the 2024 calc bc exam uh and it's just kind of like a mixture of stuff so the function f is twice differentiable for all x with f of zero equals zero values of f prime the derivative are given in the table for selected values uh, for x greater than or equal to zero the function h is defined h of x equals the integral from zero to x square root of one plus f prime of t squared dt we want to find the value of h prime of pi. We want to show the work that leads to our answer. So h prime is second fundamental theorem. So you're going to take the upper bound, sub it in for t, and then multiply by the derivative of the upper bound. So that's just going to give us h prime is uh, the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared, and then times 1, but we don't really need to write that. Now what we need, so it says like show the work. I'm not really sure. Like that's the work. Um, so h prime of pi, we're going to need to know what, uh, f prime of pi is, right? So we just look at the table, uh, and we can see that f prime of pi is six. So this will be the square root of one plus six squared. So the square root of 37, I think that's right. Seems deceptively easy. Let's look at the next part. What information does the integral from zero to pi square root of one plus f prime of x squared dx provide about the graph of f? Well, that's arc length, so that's what we're gonna write down. So the integral represents the arc length of the graph of f of x. Um, so the arc length of the function of f of x or graph of f of x on the interval from x equals zero to x equals pi or on the interval zero is less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi. I think that's all we need to do, and that's kind of a strange question, but, you know, we'll take it. Let's look at the next one. We want to use Euler's method, starting at x equals 0, uh, with two steps of equal size to approximate f of 2 pi. Show the computations that lead to your work. So uh, I always do our Euler's with a table, So and my table always has columns x, y, and then dy. And dy is f prime evaluated at whatever times delta x so do not forget the delta x you forget the delta x and you're you're done for on this so um i also when i first read this problem i forgot that f of zero is zero so i have no idea how to start it um, but it's zero zero we need to calculate our step size right so we're going from zero to two pi uh, and we're going in two equal steps so uh, two pi over two is just pi so we have that so we can fill in all the x's you're gonna go zero then pi then two pi now, to find dy, it's going to be delta x, which is pi, times, in this case, f prime of 0. f prime of 0 is 5, so that's just 5 pi. So then we do the original y coordinate, which is 0 plus dy. So 0 plus 5 pi is 5 pi. Now we do it again. So delta x is pi. And then um, we need to find f prime of pi, which is 6. And so we get this, so six pi is just our, our dy there. So then our new y value will be our old y value plus dy. So five pi plus six pi is 11 pi. And then we'll just write our answer. So f of two pi, we're gonna say it's approximately because it is, it's not, I mean, maybe it is equal, but it's an approximation. So it's approximately 11 pi. Let's take a look at uh, the next one. So this is a completely unrelated problem. Just find the integral of the quantity t plus 5 cosine of t over 4 dt. Show the work that leads to your answer. Uh, if you have a trig function and a polynomial, you're doing integration by parts. So I'm going to say that u is the polynomial because the derivatives get simpler, and dv is going to be whatever's left over, and we can integrate it, right? So cosine of t over 4 dt. So du is definitely just dt, which is great. Um, v we need to integrate cosine of t over four. So there should be a one fourth. So there's gonna be a four in the antiderivative. So we're gonna get four and then sine of t over four. If you're not sure, do the u substitution or take the derivative of what you've kind of like mentally guessed. It's not really a guess because we actually know what we're doing, um, but take the derivative of that just to confirm. So we are gonna say that our original thing is now u times v. So that's gonna be four quantity t plus five and then sine of t over four minus, because that's part of the formula for integration by parts, the integral of v du. And I'm pulling out the 4 because it's just kind of in the way, right? So minus 4 times the integral sine of t over 4 dt. Um, so at this point, we have kind of like this is, is settled. We need to integrate sine of t over 4. So there should be a 1 fourth, so another 4. And then the integral of sine is negative cosine. So we have negative 4 
times negative four cosine is plus 16 cosine of t over four. And then plus c, it would be a tragedy if we get plus c at the end of this problem. Um, that's the entire problem. So I hope this was helpful and good luck.